guys, it's Miss Marm Jr. and welcome to some visual novel I found on the internet called Who is Mike? And this looks super serious. Like, look at him. <laughs> He's in a mirror. Okay. Ooh, we're shaking. All right. Ugh. My head. Ugh. My nape throbbed. The nape of your neck throbbed with a sudden persistent pain. Dizziness came and went like a slow trickle of sweat. You should probably go lay down or something. I, it was evening. The curtains were closed and the sound of blood thumping in my ears made the silent birds. I was in my house, yes, and lay down, take some Advil, you're okay. But I was disoriented. Something felt amiss. Go to the hospital. There was a certain creepiness that made the hairs on my arms prickle all oh, this ghost thing. I blinked at my surroundings. My glasses. Where are they? Gotta find my glasses! Did I bump into something or... Stay back! Wherever you are! Oh my god. Oh, are there two of him? Before I even heard his voice, I had felt the presence of someone else in the room. I think they should kill each other. It justified the awful feeling in my gut. Just... Just... just don't move. Oh, oh my god. There was a stranger in my house. That's probably you. He held a bat with his outstretched arms, maintaining the distance between us. Get back. Didn't know what to do. I opened my mouth at several attempts to say something. Don't hurt me. Please leave. What do you want? In the end, I just stood there in dumb silence, doing all you should have said something. You idiot. What's he even doing here? Oh, what god. I don't. <laughs> Double clicked. Do I know him from somewhere? Is might be you. I squinted at his blurred shape, trying to replace the man's fuzzy edges with something more tangible. Like myself. He looks a step closer. The man waved the bat in alarm. He told you not to he's not gonna hit him. What a little pansy. Ugh. Did he just shiver? Like a little pansy? Dot dot dot. He is acting way more upset than me. Considering he's the intruder in my house, maybe you're the intruder in his house. Did you ever think about that? It might be a foolish thing to say, but he didn't seem dangerous at all. Yeah, I think he should be best friends. Just go away, please. Please. Oh, he's such a little baby. He continued mumbling to himself, gasping big gulps of panicked breaths. Uh, 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 uh. That's what he sounds like. Uh oh. Hey, uh, I think you're having a panic attack. You okay? You should, you should lay down. Bit. Try breathing through your nose and out. He's, he's so nice. <laughs> Being nice to somebody you think is robbing your house. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> to actually give breathing exercises to a trespasser. I guess Sarah was right. My kindness will be the death of me one day. Probably. In any case, the stranger relaxed a good deal. The stranger probably likes you now, too. I gave him a small, unsure smile. You alright? Dot, dot, dot. What? What are I'm you. Um, sorry, my, my my name is Mike J Jansen, and you're in my house. Who are you? I'm Mike Jansen, and you're my- Never mind. I think I lost my glasses somewhere. If you let me, if you let me find them, I'm sure we can sort this out. You don't seem like a bad guy. The man dropped the bat to his side and let out a long for- Or I guess they're not the same people? Forlorn sigh, under the coffee table, probably. Did he knock him out knock off his glasses and that's why he's so disoriented and blind? Okay, I fumbled around the floor, praying for dear life. The stranger wouldn't attack me while I was vulnerable. He doesn't... He's not gonna do anything. But he just stood there, shuffling his feet and mumbling to himself. Great. He wasn't very threatening, really. I'm sure the poor guy's just confused, even though he broke into my house and there's something familiar about him. Probably... It's probably me. Something I couldn't put my finger on. Maybe his posture. Or even that red sweater he was wearing. I could swear he, it looks exactly like mine. They don't threat- I guess people don't notice their own voices if they're being talked at with it. I guess. Sorry for threatening you with a bat. <sighs> it's alright. If it makes any difference, I wasn't really gonna hit you. I could tell because you're being pansy. The shape of my glasses finally registered. In my hand, I fished them out. Uh, I, I, I don't think I can hurt anyone. Even in this situation. Sarah is all- still. <sighs> We both have the same girlfriend, so that means the world will gain clarity as I put the pair of glasses over my eyes. Someday, oh, 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 it's me. See, there you. But he had his glasses on the other guy, so why couldn't he see that it was him? So, uh, you can see me now. Hi, man. Wave, lame. <laughs> I just see him like, kind of like taking his hands. Wave his eyes, like, ha, <laughs> hi. 
<laughs> I stood there with my jaw agape, staring at him. He good. Existing as a set that would be so weird. He had my face, hair, my posture, my sweater, give it back. No wonder that sweater looked like mine. It was mine. This is just a dream. It's just a dream. That's it. Calm down. Don't lose your head. Relax. How many times I said it though? The gravity and the situation refused to stick. The room felt simultaneously constricting and vast, like being squeezed and let go again, again, and again, like a heart. Felt like I was a child again, lost in. Oh, this, this is getting really, really too deep for no reason. Only to realize in horror that the hand belonged to us. Does that have to do with anything? Okay. Ah, good. Okay. Now it's your turn now to panic, right? Deep breaths. Is he some sort of kind of clone? An apparition of my future? What? What? Who exactly is he? I reached out to touch him, wanting to make sure he was real and not some figment of imagination. The other Mike recoiled from my touch and pushed my arm away. I guess he has the cooties. Hey now, this is weird for both of us. Don't make it worse by being grabby, I think. What was it? If they both had sex right now, would it be sex or masturbation? Thoughts. Don't make it worse by being grabby. He looks solid, so he can't be a ghost. He can form separate thoughts from my own. He seemed aware that we were the same person. What are you? Why do you have my face? Excuse me. Your face? More like my face. I was having a normal night in my house when you came barging in here. So do why don't you tell me what you're doing in my living room? It's my land. No. I opened my mouth to argue, but once I did... I realized I couldn't remember anything, and I am recording, and no, my last bits of memory consisted of a bowl of chips and late night TV shows. Also, a pain at the back of my head. I can't remember. Ah, see? That's what all the fakes say. Case closed. Fake? Excuse me. You're some sort of anomaly. It's the only explanation. I don't remember doing anything special recently besides crying myself to sleep. If you have any if you have my memories, I'm sure you'll agree. You on the other hand, lost a chunk of time from yours. So you are either the cause of everything or simply an effect. Ergo no. Right. Then if we're going there, I might as well say you're lying about the state of your memory. Oh snap. Normal normality was disrupted with your presence. Hence I lost track of time probability that you are the cause and effect of my sudden amnesia is very high. Therefore, who's the fake? Who's the fake? You can't prove that. Neither you can disprove it since we have the same arguments. And go around in circles. I see what- I, it's so weird having- doing the same voice for both of them because they're the same person so it's like <sighs> dot 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 dot. It is interesting though, isn't it? Well, I guess. Well, sort of. After all, it's not every day you meet an exact replica of yourself. I, I want to make the other me do my homework, but the other me would want me to do my homework. And then we just fight, and then none of us would do our homework. You make it sound like I'm the copy here. Well, you are. <laughs> well, aren't you? I bet he, the main character is a copy. Don't start that thing again. Da, 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 da. This is such a pain in the ass. Don't I know it? Alright. What could have caused this? What kind of freak of nature will have sprouted another me? Some seeds, some water. I'm sure I should be flattered or something, but I'm hardly clonable specimen material. So, yeah, at the very least, he doesn't seem dangerous. There's no animosity or aggression coming from him besides when he was holding a bat at me. Didn't feel any ill will towards him either, but it was strange how we both have the same small scar on the chin. Why? the same person, why wouldn't you have that? And even the same pockmarks from teenage acne, well, duh. Touch my own face on sudden impulse. I'm still me, right? Just then, we hear a dir door, dir, softly opening from upstairs. Oh no, Sarah. Sarah? 30 some. I knew Sarah heard that noise a while ago. Quick, find somewhere to hide. Why should I hide? I'll try to distract Sarah while you crawl out the front door. What? Wait a minute, you're getting rid of me. No, I'm not, okay? You just can't risk having two mics in the house, you know that. Why don't you? Yeah. Are you kidding? 
It was like a train wreck. He was right. I was filthy. How did that happen? Look. We'll, we'll get all sorted out tomorrow. Who knows, maybe your missing memories might even come back. But you're throwing me out of my house. I'm not throwing you out. It's just, no. Screw you. Screw you, me. We deal with Sarah tonight and tomorrow we'll sort out this mess. It's not gonna be sorted out by tomorrow. My god. Just leave it for now, okay? I'm saying... Breathing. I'm not making mistakes. I'm staying here, mother frigger. I stand there with a heavy feeling in my stomach. This suggestion made sense, but my feet refused to move. Why should I hide? Why should I scurry away from my girlfriend in my house? Wasn't right. Threesome. Three some root. Faint trickles of anger scratched at my chest. No way. What? I am not leaving. Come on, man. Don't be difficult. If Sarah sees this, this it won't end well for either of us. Oh man, his face looks so dark. But if there's anyone out there who can help us, it's... Shh. Maggie, it's getting late. Aren't you coming up? Three some time. Her voice called from the stairs. The living room was dark, so she probably didn't see us. We held our bus breaths tight in our throats. Uh, I got distracted. Oh. Sir, walked towards us, a nonchalant look on her face. Hey, is someone there with you? It's pretty late. I'm not a visitor, you freaking little piece of shit bag. Uh, is that you? Br Mike stole a glance at me. Listen. Listen, Sarah. <laughs> Please don't panic. Ah, oh, my! Oh, God! She's freaking out. So calm down. This is! What the fuck? Okay. I know this looks sort of bad, but. Sorry about bad! Like, I'm staring at two of you. I think we crossed the threshold of sort of bad a long time ago. This is a trick. It's won't well, touch both of us. It's not a trick, you freaking brain dead sack of potato. It's a trick, isn't it? The mirrors and shit? No. Where are the mirrors at? There are no mirrors in this room. It's not a prank, Sarah. This is really happening. How can you. Okay, she's soup. How can it be a mirror prank if both of them are speaking? And we don't even really know what to do. Stop! Stop talking! Watching both of you talk at the same time is giving me vertigo. Uh, deep breaths? She's a bitch. I... I think I need a... Okay, so that's the thing to do when you find your boyfriend has been suddenly cloned. Lie down because your life is so hard. Da da da. Excuse me for a bit. Okay. Well, that went better than expected. If by that you mean my girlfriend is ready to pop a stress baby, then yeah, sure. I told you this was a bad idea. Nah, she'll be fine. She'll be... She's okay. She'll be fine. She's a police officer. She's used to be... No! <laughs> not used to these kinds of stressful situations. But... Whatever. So I'm gonna end it right flat in the middle of this crap. So guys, if you like this episode, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, all that. See you guys next time. Bye!